Hello. So I just went through the comments and I am so excited. You guys are so happy to do Top Tuesday. I don't know when the first official Topic Tuesday will be, but we have the ball rolling right now and that's that's what matters. It is still Saturday, but I just got a package in the mail. This is nothing nail related, but this company, I want to say like a month ago, they reached out to me. Actually, that was their like third time reaching out to me. And... I finally gave in because it's glasses and you guys know where I wear glasses but my glasses that I currently have I don't know I, I never was happy with them can I say that I just wanted glasses that day and so I picked the best ones that were in the in the office so these are supposed to be like really inexpensive but nice glasses I don't know we'll see it went difficult to get out there we go um what is this Oh, it looks like a pen, but they're tools for your glasses. Oh, and then a keychain tool. That's cool. It comes in this um, case. I don't want to. I don't know if I want to say the brand yet because I don't know yet. Okay, I'm a little bit concerned. These are really big. <laughs> These are really big. These are the frames that I got. These are prescription. You know I wear prescription glasses if you've been following me, but I think these might be really big. Let's see. Oh, these are kind of cute, but they're like giant. Sorry, I keep looking at myself, but I don't... Wow! Kind of impressive. So it came with a case. This is actually a very sturdy case. Um, this is like any other case. It came with this little, um, it's a case for your glasses, but you can also clean your glasses with it. It came with all these. I'm not going to announce what company it is. I'm sure you guys can figure it out, but I want to try these before I go around and recommend these. So I'm going to try these until, if I end up liking these, you will see them in my favorites video. I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. My, my camera has been crooked this whole time. Wow. I'll just have to fix that later. So I just posted on YouTube my announcement for the Instagram account for Topic Tuesdays. I am so excited. We already have over a hundred followers there. So I think we're in a good spot. I think this is going to be a whole a lot of fun. This is totally off topic, but I've been waiting for about two hours for my bundle monster order to show up in my mailbox because it's out for delivery. I'm hoping that the sun is still out so I can unbox this with you guys because if the sun goes down, I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. But I kind of just, I want to have it already, you know. I'm so excited about it. Anyways, if it comes, I'll check back in. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow. So I'm pretty sure I hear the mailman. I'm going to stalk it. Let's see if we can see him, okay? Let's see. Let's see. Did you say that? Did you see it? It's in my mailbox. Let's go get it. Okay, you guys saw it. I just got my package. I am so excited. So excited. So this was a gift. Um, I was given money from a family member. So I'm not going to count anything that I bought in here. Well, my $300 limit is just specifically for nail polish. I do have nail polish in here, but this was actually technically a gift, so this does not count towards my total $300 limit, so. So I picked up these plates because there are 25 plates in this pack, and it was $7.88. I don't care where you buy plates on the internet, I don't know that you could ever get them this cheap. It's so cool. And they're, um, this is a holiday collection, by the way, and I have spoken about wanting to get more, um, into, into the holidays with my nail art. So I got those. And then I got, what set is this? I got the winter solstice set. What? Are you sure? Are you sure, Bundle Monster? These did not look like, uh, winter colors to me. Hold on. I need to get scissors. Okay, I got it open. Let's see. So these come packed really nicely. If you've never purchased from Bundle Monster, they come in these, like, I don't know. They're molded to be for the nail polishes. They kind of remind me of those toe separators you get when you go get your nails or your pedicure done. So, yes, these are the colors that I wanted to get. I cannot for the life of me. 
get these out. Well, here's the... Ah! Oh! Oh! It's alive. Oh, that scared me. Hold on. I'll just pull them out and show you now. I got these colors. These were in the set, and I think these were like... I don't remember. I think they were like $16 or something. Let me just tell you, everything that I got in this package only came out to like $26.88 or something crazy. So good. So good. If they're still running the sale, I think they're doing sales on everything right now. I would hop on. Look at me. I'm trying to be like all responsible with money and I'm encouraging you guys to go spin yours. We'll just ignore that. I got two other plates. This is like... You can't even see. Well, you guys will have seen this already. I'm going to actually do a, um, a haul and I'm going to post it. So you're probably going to see this before. So you guys don't even really need to see all this. But I'm super excited about these holiday plates so I can get super festive and in the mood. So I, will, I do plan on doing some like nail art tutorials. They're not going to be tutorials. It's just going to be like stamp with me. But I'll show you guys what I do if that makes any sense. It's not going to be super, I'm confusing myself. Anyway, I also got another package. I can't show you everything because they have my address on both sides. I don't know why. So you guys know I did a review of the three-tier nail organizer. Well, that company, I guess, decided to send me everything. I don't know. When they contacted me, they asked me if I was interested in stuff. And I said, oh, sure, here. You know, here's three things that I'm interested in. Like, whatever you send me, I don't care. But they decided to send me all three of the items. So the other, whoa, the other item was, were these nail studs and they are everywhere. You saw it here first. It shows up a mess. So that is it. I am going to do, I'm going to be going to my um, dental follow-up appointment because I want to check on my, well, not on my wisdom tooth, but the area where my wisdom tooth was to make sure everything's okay. And I will bring you guys along. I can't record inside because they're very particular about that. I wanted to last time and I couldn't. So, But I might drop by the big lots that's nearby. So if I do, you guys are going to go on a little trip with me. Fingers crossed everything turns out okay. I don't think there's anything wrong with me, but we'll see. So that is it. I'm going to hop off here. I'm going to log off, if you will. I feel like that's so 90s. I'm, I'm going to log off now. But I am. I hope you guys have had a fantastic Tuesday, as I have. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello. It is Tuesday. I kid you not, all day yesterday, I thought it was Tuesday. And it wasn't until 8 o'clock at night that my husband broke the news to me and told me that it was actually Monday. Because I was very concerned about specific things not happening. So, since I had planned on going to a dentist appointment today, I'm just going to um, use that time to clean up my nail desk area. I have polishes everywhere. I'm telling you, 12 days of polish was chaos for me. I neglected so many things. Cleaning basically is what I neglected. I was very disorganized and that's one of my resolutions like one of my personal resolutions for 2018 or one of my goals. I know people are like weird about resolutions. What's, what's the problem with resolutions? I don't understand but um, one of my goals for 2018 is to shed dead weight. So I'm talking Things, thoughts, and people. Yeah, so I'm going to clean out, up my nail area. I'm probably going to be um, de-stashing a few things. I already have this box right here. There's not too many things in here. I think there's about 10 things, but I'm going to let go of all of my nail duets. I found these at the Dollar Tree a while back. In the beginning of 2017, I believe, somebody asked if I would review these. I couldn't find them until like maybe June or July and when I was would find different ones I would pick them up but I'm just not motivated or interested in reviewing them anymore so I'm going to donate these to the shelter and also these three polishes these are the LA color color last polishes that are supposed to last for 10 days I don't know that I've used any of these once so I'm just going to let them go you know what, those ladies in the shelter needed a whole lot more than I do because we all know how many polishes I have. So I'm going to get cleaning. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I don't stop because I'm kind of forcing myself to do this right now. I'm not really in the mood, but it's a mess. It's a big mess.
Oh my gosh, look what I found. This is my ideas book that I could not find. And I even have my 2017 nail polish goals. One of them was to declutter, which I did. New organization system. I got two new helmers. Post videos two times a week. I did that. Nail stamping videos. I did not do that. Buy my first indie and expand my Zoya collection. Both happened. I happened to get on Zoya's PR list, so that kind of was like a very generous help for me. Um, my first giveaway. I have not done that. I'm very confused about how those work. Uh, make more friends in the nail polish community. I think I've done that pretty well and more review videos, which I did. That's amazing. I'm excited. I need to look through these to see. Ooh, there's one good idea in here that I forgot about. I'm just briefly, briefly looking over. That's exciting. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, I need to continue, but I thought I would share that with you guys. I'm, I don't know why, but I like looking back on old notes. I have this old notebook, or I did, where it was like I was writing things in high school. It was my notebook for high school, and my mom wrote something in it, like her email address, and I wrote, get your own notebook or something. Such a teenager, wasn't I? <laughs> okay, so I've been going through my collection, and... I have expanded on what I'm going to donate. This is like black, black and white, wet and wild, uh, wild shines. I have three of the Black Heart Beauty polishes. I'm gonna keep the hollows, but I have these other three that I'm just gonna let go of. I don't see myself wearing these. Um, and I mean, honestly, I don't like the packaging. I don't like it at all. I'm getting rid of the neon sinful color polishes except for the that really light like the lightest pinky orange one I'm gonna keep that one I can't find it I'm letting go of pearl jam and you guys know that I accidentally purchased two of these and it's not my favorite I'm gonna let go of my accidental backup um, because I'm gonna keep the one that I have because I think it would be good for nail stamping I think you can really make like use this for something in nail stamping I just don't like it alone. I'm gonna let go of these Bitsy polishes. These are just some Crelly glitters. And then this blue one is just, how many blues do I need like this? I mean, genuinely, how many blues do I need that look just like every other cobalt like blue? I'm gonna let go of this Hype nail polish in Fiesta. I have one of these already. They accidentally sent me two of these. If you're pregnant or you're like, I don't know, you just had a baby, or you're worried about like chemicals or something, and you still wanna use nail polish, I think you should take, check out this brand. The formulas are very jelly, like thin jelly, or crelly, no, I'm gonna say jelly. They're jelly-like, but they're really easy to apply, and I'm just, like the smell is so different. Let me smell. Yeah, <coughs> why did I do that? It's so subtle. It is so subtle. This is so interesting. I mean, this stuff is actually really good. I was, I, I really didn't know what I was getting into when they contacted me asking me if I would review some of their polishes. But I'm telling you, if you're sensitive to the nail polish smell, but you love polish, or you just want to cut out like chemicals in your life, you should check out this brand as long as you don't mind jelly formulas. Um, I think I showed you this already, did I? I'm gonna let go of these nail duets. I've added um, another LA Colors Color Last. I picked, this one is in Infinite. I picked this one up because somebody contacted me asking me if I could find a polish similar to one that they had, um, they had found on the internet. They sent me the picture of it and I thought this would be close, but it's not. I'm also gonna let go of the Mega Last, uh, the saving base. This is from Wet n Wild. This was, the base coat, it was like the companion to their Heart as Ice top coat. Um, and, oh, I'm also gonna let go of Smash It, which is which was from Sinful Colors Smashing Flex collection. This was like a part of the holiday releases. 
I don't know. There's a lot of a lot of nail polish in here. Uh, and I think the last, or you know what? I'll 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 tell you two more that I'm getting rid of. This I'm getting rid of. This is San Francisco from Central Colors. The formula is awful. And I'm also gonna let go of the NYC Matte Me Crazy Matte Top Coat. Um, I'm not a fan of it, but I don't know. Maybe they would be. I don't know that they're picky in the, this situation that they're in. So. I don't know. I'll let them go through it. There's a lot of brand new stuff in here. I mean, most of these, I'm going to say I've used either very lightly, and I'm talking like maybe once or twice, or not at all. I mean, you guys can see these are still in their packaging. How wasteful of me. Um, I'm going to end up just letting go of this Nail Envy. The smell on this is awful. It is so bad. I'm not going to like give this away to, to anybody. I'm, I'm actually going to toss it. I've gotten this question before about tossing polish. I don't just throw the whole bottle in the garbage. I actually empty it out onto a paper towel. You swirl the bottle with some pure acetone, dump that out, and then let that polish or whatever is on that towel just dry out and then throw it away. So anyways, I think that is good so far. I still need to work on my table that I use for swatching, but I've already scanned over those polishes and I think I'm gonna keep those. So I'm just gonna get those back to their homes and then maybe I will show you guys an overview of what it looks like now. There it is. It looks so much better. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog thus far. And I will see you tomorrow for my dental appointment. Hello everyone. Happy Friday. I haven't checked in in a couple days. Wednesday I did not end up going to my dental appointment because it ended up... It ended up being rescheduled and then yesterday, Thursday, I was not feeling very well so I just took the day off. Um, I literally did not do anything. Today is Friday though. I need to go to the store. I need to go pick up food for dinner. I'm planning on making uh, fish tacos. I love these fish tacos. They're so delicious. So I'm going to go to the store and do that. I'm going to take my kids to the park because if I don't, they're going to tear down these walls. And then maybe I'll show you what dinner looks like tonight. But this is the last night. I plan on uploading this tonight so you guys can see this tomorrow. This week was really kind of a weird, another weird week. I'm telling you, I got a lot of mail this week, which is not normal for me. Um, but you know, I love getting mail. I love getting mail. So I'm going to go ahead and head to the store go to the park and maybe I'll check back in later so you guys will not have seen the bundle monster haul because I realized I'm missing one plate and I contacted them I just realized today which is Friday so they haven't contacted me yet I mean I just emailed them a couple hours so I'll update you guys on that um, I did actually record it and that's when I noticed I recorded the haul and I noticed that one of the plates was missing so um, once I get that all figured out, I will upload and update the video so you guys know what's going on or maybe you, you'll probably find out about it here as well in the vlogs. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap this vlog up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I went to the Dollar Tree a little bit ago and I got new glass canisters that will hold my cotton rounds my lint-free cotton pads and q-tips and whatnot and they look so much better than the other ones that I had before so I will show you that in next week's vlog but I hope everybody had a great week and I will see you in my next one bye